Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss and show you how we capture the user session from one test script and that session we can use in the remaining session. So in that case, we don't need to log in again and again for the remaining test. Just log in once and reuse the session. Okay, so I will also show how we cap how we set up the capture session test at a global level, right? So that when we run our automation framework, so first it will run your uh, test which will capture the session and store in a particular file, and then those session we can reuse in test script. Okay, so I will also show how we set up the captured session. Okay. How we set up the captured session and use in the all the test script right directly by using the playwright config file okay so let's see now here you can see i have written one test this is authentication right it contains the two tests one is the capture session second is the authenticate orange hrm by using the session what we have in this test script if I run this, then this test will run. Okay. You will see it's running. It will enter username and password and login into the application. After login, it will verify user login successfully. Means we are verifying here dashboard. Okay, so verification done and you can see this test runs successfully. So if I will run the second test because here I am just nav navigating the URL, not login. So this test will fail. Let's see. Okay, now here you can see second test failed because this is not available and uh, not login successfully. Okay, so now I'm going to show how we capture the session here and then how we use the next test script. So for that we can use await. Page.context. There is a method storage. Okay, in the storage just pass a path and the file name. Like I'm going to give you a user.json file. Okay, so now when we run this test, right? So Playwright will automatically capture the session and store in this file. Okay, and in next test, when we are going to run, we will use the token session which is captured under the user.json file. So let's see how we do that. So now here we need to create a browser context. And here we need to you call the browser dot new context and in this we can pass the storage state we can pass the storage state and then file name file name we are using user dot json let's use await and store this in a variable context variable now by using this context we can create a page new page okay so code is written here we need to use await okay now, if I run this test, first test to capture the session, so it will capture the session and store in a user.json file. Next test script directly use the user.json file uh, and login successfully. Okay, let's see. I'm going to run both tests.
now its second test is running and you will see it will automatically log in right now test runs successfully if i go in the uh, project you will see user.json file is created which store the uh, cookie of the uh, orange jar application so in the first test script it's captured the cookie and store here in the second test it's using the same cookie so by using here we use the uh, browser.new context storage passing the user.json file so it will use the existing uh, cookie which is stored in the from the previous test script okay so now by using this approach we can uh, pass we can capture that cookie and pass into the next uh, test script okay let's see how we create a global test script to capture the token and then uh, same token we can use in the remaining test script so let me remove this and create one folder that is uh, this is config folder so i'm going to separate this from our test script and putting into the config folder so here i am going to create a file this is kind of global setup.js so one file i am going to create global setup.js file okay in this file i am going to write this code add this code okay let's copy and paste here so this uh, we will create a global uh, setup so here i will use the module dot export async this is suppose that i am going to use config okay this complete code i am going to put here and removing this okay so next let's import this so here expect we need we need chromium browser right basically i want to i am going to launch here the browser chromium dot launch at least i am going to uh, initially this mark as false so it will uh, be then store in a browser object and this we can store in a constant okay so next step we need to create the page object so i can call here browser dot new page okay let's use here update so now this global setup is uh, created so let's once the browser is open here so let's close the browser okay now this global file uh, we need to call in our uh, playwright config file so let's see how we call this so under the constant config file we need to use here a global setup okay it is provided by the playwright and then here i can use require and pass the file path so this is dot slash config then slash global setup okay so this is basically here we need to use the require a resolve okay so global setup a require resolve then dot slash config global setup so this we need to pass here so when we run our automation test script any test script it will automatically invoke this global setup okay so let's see and now run the test let me create 
another file path from global dot spec dot js okay so i am going to only use this test script in this file so let's use the describe this one i need I close this okay now test is ready here so let me you are already deleted here token so i can remove this okay let's use this after that i will uh, show you how is this user.json file we can set up in the playwright config file so that we don't need to use any individual test script you will see global setup will automatically invoke and it will capture the session first store in a user.json file and then our test script will invoke Yes, yeah, enter username password. Okay, now the test is running. And you will see this will automatically, this will also pass because it's using the session token which is stored from the global setup. Okay, test is done. And if I go here, you will see it's passed. Okay, so let's see. File is also generated here. You can see at the root, file is created. Okay, now here we need to pass here the in the test script, right? We need to pass the session user.json file in the test script. We can set up this at a configuration level. So in that case, we don't need to pass this. So let's change this page and comment these. Okay, now I'm going to use this uh, into the configuration file. So basically where we will use, we need to go into the project projects under that we have one name like chromium okay here we need to use storage and then colon file name so storage and the file name we can pass here so now in that case if we are setting up here so for the chromium profile we don't need to uh, use the uh, session login it will automatically pick the from the user session and as we discussed uh, this global setup will run before running the test once it will run at the initially then uh, all your test script will run and use the uh, session which is stored under the user.json file let me remove here from file go to auth from global setup this test i can also remove this this okay let me let me put here as a commented code now i am going to run and you will see first it will run the global setup store the to session into user.json file and then this this test will invoke so running the test okay now the test is running and it's run successfully okay you can see it's passed now if i go it at the root you will see user.json file is created okay so in this way we can store the user session and then we can reuse in our test script okay so now one more thing this global setup basically uh, we need, don't need to run in a headed mode we can run this in a headless mode because we don't need to invoke right so at backend it will run and it will capture the user session stored in a user file and further we can use this user.json file in our test by using the uh, config file playwright config file okay so now what we learn here we learn here how we capture the user session and reuse in the uh, remaining test script okay in that case we don't need to log in and again and again okay and our execution will go faster second we discuss like how we set up the capture session test right at a global level how we set up here and then how we use the uh, reuse the session which is captured in the json file how we use in the uh, test script so basically in the test script we can use two way directly in from the test script and by setting up the 
json json file in a uh, project uh, configuration right so hope this will be helpful how we handle this how we manage our test script to, so that we can reuse the existing uh, session and store and use in the remaining test script so that our execution go faster and if you like the tutorial click on the like button subscribe the channel and share this tutorial to your friends and colleagues and leave a comment if you have any query thanks for watching the video